Oh man, that 8R280. I've never been one that's like, man, I gotta have a tractor, but for some reason, this tractor is like my Toyota Tundra. I really, really want one. Oh, are you kidding me? High five. Yeah, yeah. We stole Jimbo's camera this morning. Appreciate the hats and stuff and the right rags are modest. Thank you for making these bad pickers. We've picked with a lot of different pickers, but Armadas has sold me. I've run this one for about two or three years now. Love them. That's a peanut picking machine. We're gonna get started. We're gonna do a little bit of maintenance this morning and I'll try to get some good video and show y'all what we do every day and what it takes to get one of these beasts running. Catch y'all in a minute. And thank y'all for 10,000 subscribers for Field Rose. 10K, it's almost 11 now. We need to have a gym cam and then we need to have a Keefe and Jeff cam. Cause y'all only get to see a part of this stuff on Jim's cam. He gets out all the good stuff. All right, we gonna get busy y'all. And uh, we'll try to speed this up. We may even time lapse this so we don't bore you too bad, but we're gonna show y'all what we go through every day. First thing we do in the morning times, we'll go around, we'll go ahead and get everything opened up. We'll snatch the main filter out or the primary filter out, not the secondary. We'll get our radiators split apart so we can get all this mess down in here blowed out. Even the grill on the outside will get just pure caked. We'll get all these doors opened up on these pickers. This old 2100 gets a little bit more difficult. The 2110 is nice because it's got these hydraulic shocks on all the doors. You just walk up to them and lift up on them. We'll get everything opened up. First order business, we'll get all the just dust and peanuts and all kind of mess and dirt that just cakes up on we'll get all that blowed off you have to check for bad bearings and stuff like that that way we don't get to picking in the middle of the day and have something quit on us y'all seen us blowing them out the other day with that big air compressor but every single day we blow these pickers off with the air compressor for about 30 45 minutes so a good air compressor is a must otherwise your mornings will be not pleasant <laughs> The better the air compressor, the easier this job is. Oh yeah, baby. It's time. All right, radiator check, air filter check. Good morning, it is Friday. We're gonna get dad's shaker digger whatever you want to call it put some new points on it grease the chains we got uh three bars we got to change he hit a rock bed yesterday and bent some bars so yeah let's get to it all right we got our safety stands up under it you do not want to be up under this thing with nothing else because uh yeah if it were to fall and you were to be up under there would not be a good day. Would not be good, was it? Whoa, what is that? All done. Okay, so we got all the uh, blades on. Six blades, KMC, that should take us around. Uh, maybe 40, 50 acres. Dad will push it that far. Next, we gotta change about three bars. Hey, Kyle. Hey, I'll run something by you. So I thought about creating a, uh, a villain. So it's gonna be like Freddy Cougar, but it's gonna be called Peanut Man. And he has peanut blades as arms, and they're super sharp. And he just goes around cutting people's legs and arms off. It's pretty scary. You like that one? I like that. You would see that, Peanut Man? I would see that. Heck I yeah. I will take my girl to go see that. That's right. Y'all yeah, don't steal my idea, Peanut Man. This Halloween. Daddy, I think we should go home. Why? Cause I just saw something in the peanut field. Relax, it's probably just a no, deer. No, Dad, I'm telling you, something wasn't right. Calm down, you're gonna be. F Dad, oh, no. Run. No. Peanut man, who's ready to get shelled? Only in theaters. So you've got these are called picker bars, or not picker bars. I'm such an idiot. Uh, oh. Shaker bars. That's what it actually walks the peanuts to the back of the drums, that then flip them over. Dad has hit a rock. Luckily. It didn't come off, but you notice that one's bent, that one's bent. But the big issue is, is when you hit one and one side comes off, and then this sucker keeps on churning, well then you know what happens. It just j wrecks the whole thing, and uh, gotta, did you get it? I got it. Okay, good. 
Heck yeah. And there's your no. That's it. Three bars on. Yeah. All right, well, Kyle's gonna greet the shaker. I'm gonna head down here to the peanut field. Keefe just called me and said, uh, got a pulley that went bad on the picker, so probably gotta run up here to Sun South, Donaldsonville. Hopefully they got it and uh, be a pretty easy fix. Pulling up to the field. Heck, we might have one of those at the barn. That's pretty common. No, that's not a 100. That's a 80, huh? What, what is it? It doesn't look as big as that one on the 2100. That is an 80 heavy. 80 heavy, yep. All right. All right, let's see what we got. I think we might have some 80 heavy chain here at the barn. 80 heavy. 80 heavy, sweet. Let's see if we can find us a pulley. Please, pulleys, pulleys. And there's the little small ones. Uh, wrong size. Too big. Oh, goodness. We also need the little rollers. Well, shoot. Darn it. I think we got it. Okay, good deal. Headed back to the field now. All right, we how low you are? You can, you can't what's up? I'm talking. Ah, Keefe, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> if you can see it or not, but my master link has started coming apart. Could be he's in third he's gear. Or tick fourth gear, third gear, fourth gear TikTok and not paying attention while yep. I was having to run in second gear all day. About brand way new way 80 heavy chain with a brand new master way. link. We're gonna get this bad boy made up, get it sized, and uh, slap this bad boy on there. 10, 11, 12, four hours. It's not that bad though, considering we had one, two, three, four different cameras that we ran last Wednesday and adding music and all that. Yeah. I mean, that's out the door, uploaded to YouTube, four hours. Yeah, we're getting better out of getting you um, money shots too, instead of just doing three hours of recording. Exactly, just that's do, the key. Like, just get do the, the money shots. shots. Exactly. Like, get this, the like this right here, like Jeff over here. Yeah, look at this. Part of our process, keeping our hydraulic levels like they're supposed to be. Oil probably levels should show in that, because that's actually a motor oil jug with hydraulic oil in it. Yeah, there's hydraulic. Shh. Would edit, edit that out. But we did we did put an X on it, so we know, hey. Man, everybody knows we safety third around here. <laughs> Let's uh, buckle up and go to Donaldsonville. Candid camera. Now we are in Georgia. We have made it to Sun South John Deere. Whoo, man, that 8R280. Let's go see what they got. Hopefully they got it. Luckily, had the pulley, so we should get back and go one. Anybody want to say hey? No one? <laughs> <laughs> That's Liam. Okay, sweet. I'll take that one. Okay. We'll see you, bud. Have a good one. Y'all be good. Hey, I left you some stickers. Okay, yep. it. Oh, yeah, we'll see you guys. See you. That's a nice mower. Well, good deal. They have what I need. Even got a piece for the cotton picker that uh, we'll be fixing that next week. And you know, you can't come to the John Deere store without looking at the newest, awesome, amazing tractor. The ever so cool 8R280. Man, look at that thing. Wow. You know, I'm not really a big tractor guy. I've never been one that's like, man, I gotta have a tractor. But for some reason, this tractor is like my Toyota Tundra. I really, really want one. Are you kidding me? Oh, it smells new. Just drive this thing back to Florida. Look at that. Plenty of room. Ah, oh, look at that. Look at all this room. Plenty of room. And stretch out. You can just about stretch out. What is this? <laughs> you kidding me? A little cooler. A little place to plug your phone in so you can be charging. And I'm sure it's got Bluetooth. Oh yeah, look at that Bluetooth. Oh man, that is nice. Ah, oh, smells so new. We got 50s on this bad boy. Yep, 50s. All right, let's head back to Florida. Thing is nice. Oh man, I like this too. Now you can raise your uh, hitch on the back. They moved it. I don't know what that is. Maybe turn your PTO or something? Oh, I bet that is. I bet that's to turn your PTO. When you want, when you're back here trying to grease something, you ain't got to go up in the cab. Brilliant, love it. Maybe in about uh, 15 years, when the prices 
quite a bit lower, that's when we'll end up getting one. But it won't be anytime soon. All right, just made it back. You're a pulley, sir. In the door. Oh, thank you. Got a new chain on. Me and Jeff appreciate you leaving it, leaving us that chain breaker. Dang it, I didn't leave it, did I? <laughs> it's in my truck, though. That's okay. We have got everything fixed. Keep you got the pulley on, new chain on Jeff's picker. A little late start. It's already 1130. Could have been picking an hour ago if we would have had our crap together. You just never know what the day's going to hold. You start servicing up and find a bearing out or a pulley out. or Luckily, this is a very quick fix. Walking this pivot out of the way, um, so we can go ahead and pick down the road and walk the pivot where we already picked and then we're done with it We ain't got to worry about it. The picker's doing great, but it doesn't look great if you look We got a lot of peanuts uh, Which a bunch are pops But a lot of them are good peanuts And we lost these peanuts when the when we plowed them up. If you notice pull these up You got a bunch of good peanuts on the ground man We wouldn't have had that rain if we could have got them up a little bit earlier we could have definitely had a had a better yield than what we're gonna have wait good deal got the pivot out of the way time for lunch girls what y'all got chili. poor celiac can't eat regular chili my wife she's got celiac disease so she's very limited in what she can eat if you'd like to know her story check out the field rose podcast ain't that right babe that's right i like your hair the side ponytail looks good looks like your twin sister Oh, she wanted y'all to match. Again today. Oh, she to match. She's yeah. always wanting y'all to match. I know. Y'all want any peanuts for a snack? Uh, you sure? We got plenty. Honey roasted? The next field is honey roasted. These are green peanuts. Oh, that was good, guys. Appreciate it. I got to run in the barn, grab some things. Yeah. Love you. <laughs> Uncle Randy should be coming. Guess who's here? Hey, y'all look. A phone and yeah. a GoPro. Hey. How y'all doing? Hey. Mm. Hey. Haven't seen y'all since yesterday. Y'all be careful. There might be snakes in there. Randy, you won't have to help them. Well, you're gonna, I, I've got both of them. What's I can't. Do it. Let's put that one down. We got too much going on. Yeah. Peanut slide. Tick tock and live and. Double trouble. Double trouble. <laughs> Double trouble. <laughs> Why are we saying that? It's not even. The baby's getting buried. Are you going? You are? Hey. Pass it, get out of the way. Atlin, quit! Daddy is gonna have a flip out. Quit! We're already wasting enough. Stop it! I'm you! Y'all be quiet. Hey, Dad. Daddy saw my TikTok. Bye, y'all. Now, oh, hang on. Lost control. Yeah. He's doing good, but man, we lost a lot of peanuts for that shaker. There's a pile on the ground. I know what you know about it. Yeah, right. It's the same thing we had on the other side, but it could just be because you're on this uh, road here by the road. But there's places on the other side that was the same way. Yeah, there's a bunch of them like that, Jim, on the other side. And I think that may have been why we thought we were leaving so many. I don't, I don't yep. think a lot of them were coming out of the picker. I think it was just a picker was stirring up the ground and stirring up what was already there. I tell you what, there's a lot of things I like about these Armadas pickers. But Armadas, if y'all watching, my favorite part about Armadas picker is that big old red, white, and blue American flag on the front of that bad boy. <laughs> brought me a camera over want me to talk a little bit so no hand driving something new to me uh, had to turn the pivot plow up me to do a six row shaker you have to look back every now and then make sure everything's going good got my mirror here i can keep an eye on things too so i'm running 3.2 miles an hour uh, kind of a slow job but you get to see the peanuts, and I like to fly up because I know what kind of crop I got. And Jim and the guys are picking peanuts behind me, so they do that, and I handle the plowing up every year. Works out real good. All right, we got to turn this thing around. Hang on. Pick her up. Turn off your shaker. All right, I plow up in strips, kind of like. There's a strip. I have to plow. I'm going to move over here and get this little spot. That way you don't have to turn back to back. Makes, so, makes it a lot easier turning around. 
get over here, you just push this little button here. And you just hit the button, bang. Right on the road. No problem. Ain't like it used to be. Alright, let's talk a little bit more about when I first started farming. We had a peanuts plowed up pig custom. Somebody done that for us. And 77 bought a new tractor. 77 of 4230. And started using it. Got a shaker in 79. Brand new two row KMC. Whoop. And 79, we moved out of the trailer house into the house across the road, which was my Uncle James and Aunt Betty. And he's the one that helped me, one of the ones that helped me get started farming. Used his equipment to make my first crop and um, went from there. So they bought another place up that's on their land in the north of Malone. And um, we bought the one across the road, which was the house. 200 acres, uh, barn, shed, grain bin. So me and my wife moved over there. We had one child, Joanna. She was four years old. She was born in 75. And that year, we moved in the house one night, and we had our second child the next morning. Take the time of the year. So we had planted peanuts that year, and um, had a 56 acres there under traveled irrigation. And it come time to plow up. Well, everything was looking real good. Crop was good, crop of peanuts. Got my new shake, tractor. Went out there, got it set, plowed up them peanuts. I think they, we picked maybe 10 acres of it went to rain. It rained, it rained. 31 days before we got those peanuts picked and put in the basket and put in the trailer. Had help come help me if it wouldn't have been for that, it would have been longer than that. So that was my first experience with a shaker in peanut season in 79. And then we moved on to the later on four row shaker. And uh, then we moved up to the six row shaker and six row pickers. So this is my day. Or, you know, we've had a lot of rain this year. We just got back in the field real good. Got up three days and it started raining again. So I've been back in the field since Wednesday. Today's Friday, so I've had it's gonna be three good days of plowing up. Got about five, six more good days, so we'll have this drop out the ground. Appreciate it so much. See y'all later. Here picking season, we don't get too many lunch breaks. Where we actually take an hour for lunch. Cotton season gets here, we won't get too many suppers. But they day sure don't let you go hungry now. We work through lunch, you can bet you'll tell there'll be something delivered in the field for you. Whatever you want. Hot dog, hamburger, chicken legs, that can be something. Man, I tell you what, I'd be glad when I get my GPS fixed. Because I'm so used to having GPS. I get sidetracked and uh, forget all about steering the tractor. Next thing I know, I'm going out across the field. Some of y'all like my ranch flavored peanuts I was eating on the other day. Since we're picking peanuts, the snack name for the week is peanuts. So today, I'm going to tell y'all about these little, little Debbie peanut butter green pie cookies. Ooh, Lord. That's how I come about uh, Rick all good. We got excited about opening this bad boy up. And uh, the little bell house in the road next to me. <laughs>
Well, guess I'm gonna get down here. Signed, sealed, and delivered. Ready to take to the mill. Soon I'm gonna do a video of what happens when it leaves the field. Do they take it straight to the peanut factories and make peanut butter? Do they take it to the payday candy company and uh, make payday bars out of it? Stay tuned. You made that look easy. It's like you've done that before. Well, he is gonna take that to the mill and uh, I'm about to go to the house. Until next time, keep it in the field, Rose. We'll see ya, bye.